week on Wife Swap. Uptight stay-at-home mom Hope Shanowski left her husband, three children, and unbelievably demanding sister behind to trade lives with Cynthia Melville, a rich, spoiled New Yorker who treats her sister, Kathy, like a slave. Wow, fancy. What a dump. This is my room, which I decorated myself. This is my room. It's also the laundry slash pantry. For the first week, the wives had to live by the rules of their new family. Would you like me to massage your breasts as well? What? Oh, oh no. Cynthia! Cynthia! I just painted my toes and they're still wet. Could I get a refill? Hope found it hard to connect with That's Cynthia's smart. spoiled 16-year-old daughter, Madison. I lost my diaphragm and I needed you to take me to the guy now to get a new one. And her workaholic husband, Aaron. What's wrong? Oh, I'm just tired. Not you. And things got really tense when Hope tried to help Kathy with the housework. Get up, get up, get up! Every single thing about this family is wrong. I'm, I'm Meanwhile, at the Shanowskis, yeah. Cynthia took an instant liking to Hope's husband, Charlie. Let's go back to bed. What? No, no, no I, I'm up. Did she say back to bed? Because I, I, I wasn't in bed with her. And an instant disliking to Hope's sister, Faith. I've had it with her. She's a selfish dingbat. She hit me. Kathy, I know you're in there. But now, everything is about to change as the wives take control, setting new rules which sure. the families must I obey. Guess. I can't wait for a rules change. This family needs help. This could be worse than the time I opened a new jelly when there was still some old jelly left in the jar. Look, I'm not saying that it's my goal to make Faith cry. Well, maybe it is. I'm out of here. Okay. Cynthia Melville and yeah. Hope Shanowski swapped lives and spent a week living by each other's rules. But now, everything is about to change as the new wives take control. It's the first day of the rules change, and Faith has decided to stay. So, Sid, what are you doing for birth control? Ow! Uh, n nothing. Well, that's totally irresponsible. Tomorrow I'll take you to get a diaphragm. Uh, see, actually, I am. Um, I'm not sexually active. I'm. I'm a, a virgin. What are you, chicken? <laughs> Cynthia, I really don't think that's very appropriate. She's only sixteen. Neuro for you. Shh. But I will. Shh. At the Melvilles, Madison has already violated her new curfew. It's two in the morning, young lady. What do you have to say for yourself? Off. Why don't you leave the off? Hope appeals to Aaron to enforce the rules. She was two hours past her curfew. You're kidding. Mm -hmm. And she cursed at me. What a bitch. Now, now, Aaron, two wrongs don't make a right. She can dump the 10,000 shares for all I care. Are you on the phone? I told you, no cell phones in the house. Give me that. No. Give me that. You're breaking the rules. No. You give me that right now. Aaron! Aaron! Faith is in over her head when she takes on the role of a lifetime, that of a homemaker. Aunt Faith, have you seen my math book? It's in your backpack. No. Just someone's garbage. Is something... Burning? It's probably me. I haven't showered in nine days. Yeah, we know. No, it's just Bailey's math book. <laughs> All right, everybody freeze. If the garbage is in your backpack and the math book is in the oven, I know where the chicken is. <laughs> Dinner's ready. Oh, wait, the vegetables. You cooked my math book, you threw the chicken in the garbage, and now you're serving frozen vegetables? I hate you! <gasps> Faith, you have got to do my laundry. I have no clean underwear. I turned mine inside out. <laughs> Unhappy with the way things are going, 
Hope thinks a family meeting might draw the Melvilles closer together. Now, you're probably wondering why I asked you to draw pictures of your family. Just a guess, because you're lame? <laughs> no, because I thought it would be a better way to tell how you feel about your family. Oh my gosh. Aaron, this is what Brianna thinks about her daddy. Is this what you want, Aaron? To be a phone head? To be a stranger to your own kids? Wouldn't you rather have a thousand anytime minutes with your daughter? Please, Daddy. nights and weekends. <laughs> I have to admit, I was a little surprised by Aaron's breakdown. Madison said he hasn't cried like that since the tech bubble burst. And the Melvilles aren't the only family unraveling. I need to talk to my mom. Sure you do, so you can tell her about the math book. Well, guess what? I got stuff on you you don't even know about. I want my mom now. She knows I got nothing. Haley, sweetie, what's wrong? Nothing. Hey, what's going on? I think Haley's still upset about dinner. Yeah, well, a lot of us are still upset about dinner. It's not about dinner. I just need mom. Gosh, what is with her? She's moody and cranky. She's crying for no reason. I think it might be her. Oh, don't be ridiculous. She's nine years old. <laughs> She's 12. What? Turn that camera off. Now. I said now. I turn I will fight you. Up next, Charlie gets more than he bargained for when Cynthia suggests they enjoy a nice yes. dinner out on the town. I would love for you to work on my mouth. And Hope gets a surprise from Aaron. <laughs> and a Cynthia-style makeover, Kathy breaks out of the pantry cabaret style. Hope and Cynthia have taken control of their new households, leaving everyone in crisis. <laughs> Haley, sweetie, what's wrong? Turn that camera off. Since Haley's mom is away, Faith steps up and reveals her maternal side. My mother gave me a French manicure when I got my first. <laughs> Upper respiratory infection. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Faith. I love you. I love you too, sweetie. Mm. And hope inspires breakthroughs of her own. Come on, Kathy. There's got to be something you've always wanted to do. Well. Mrs. Hildebrand, my second grade teacher, once told me I had a pretty voice. So why don't you start singing? No, I couldn't. <laughs> no, I do not believe there's anything you can't do if you just put your mind to it. You have to follow your dreams. Um, <clears throat> I've made a decision. I'm quitting my job and selling the apartment. I never wanted all of this. How are we going to live? Off the land. I'm good with my hands. I can sell driftwood sculptures at sawdust festivals, and in the winter, I'll work the Renaissance fairs. I feel so free. <laughs> Ho. Meanwhile, Cynthia thinks Charlie needs to spend more romantic time with Hope, so she's arranged a night out away from Faith and the kids. So, you're an orthodontist. Yeah. I would love for you to work on my mouth. <laughs> yeah, I, I think maybe you've had enough to drink, huh? Mm. Come on. Oh, I can't help it if you're so cute. <clears throat> uh, could we get some coffee over here? Is that your foot? Check, please. <laughs> well, I'll tell you one thing. Quick. After living with that woman, 
a very aggressive woman. Uh, I have never been more in love with my wife. Later, when Charlie returns home from his dinner with Cynthia, Faith fills him in on the crisis hey with Haley. How was your night? Oh, you know, that was yours. Uh. Oh, my baby. Faith really impressed me. I mean, although I will never give up my dream of her moving away to some very remote, possibly hostile country with, with no phones or visible means of escape, <laughs> she, uh, she really came through. The thing that makes me proudest of all is that I got through the night without telling the whole world that Haley got her period. And that makes me feel really good about myself. Look, I just want to get out of here and get back to my life. And now that it's over and Charlie clearly is in love with his wife for whatever reason, I just want to say that the whole coming on to him thing was just a joke. You're so pretty. Such a pretty boy. The truth is, I left my husband. And I really miss Madison and the twins and Brianna. Brianna, yeah. Cynthia is a classic narcissist who probably wasn't breastfed, which explains why she can't see the world beyond her own needs. Much like an infant. Of course, so is Aunt Faith, but I mean, I like her much better. Me too. And Cynthia's kind of creepy. Very creepy. Very, very creepy. Even Madison comes around when Hope agrees to undergo a Melville-style makeover. I've never had a makeover before. How do I look? Not nearly as dorky as when you got here. Whoa! Do you like? <laughs> yeah, I look hot. Hot. <laughs> Smoking. OK, let's not get carried away. You know, you remind me of my daughter. Are you guys close? I try, but uh, she doesn't want to have anything to do with me. At least you try, so she knows you love her. Well, I'm sure your mother loves you, too, very much. She wouldn't love me if she knew I was a virgin. She'd start going, bah, 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 bah. What? She thinks I'm chicken. But I thought you had a diaphragm. I only got it because everyone else has one. You listen here. You're 16 years old. There's no need to hurry. The longer you wait the better it'll be. You know, you're not as rank as I thought. You're like a real mom. <laughs> Their kids are lucky to have you. You know, when I, when I first got here, I felt, felt lost. I didn't know why I was doing this. But now I can see I've had quite an impact on this family. You see, one of the things I've always been good at is encouraging people to follow their dreams. Can I wash this off? I'm feeling a little trampy. <laughs> but I'd like to take a picture first. My, my husband will like it. He likes it when I, you know. Oh, never mind. That's private. <laughs> Before I start, I would just like to thank Hope for making me realize there is nothing I can't do. <laughs> I was talking to you about, you know, encouraging people. Trying to forget my feelings of love. Well, seeing Kathy sing tonight. Maybe I'm a little too encouraging, like with Faith. It could be partially my fault that she's, well, you know,
delusional. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing. I really do have a whole new respect for what Hope does around here. And what amazes me is how she was able to do it all before I moved in to help out. Next, the wives reunite with their husbands and sisters. Why don't you just zip it? I'll zip it when you shut it. I'll shut it when you zip it. Shut it. Zip it. <laughs>